Congratulations, you are the new owner of a scanning cut and now you're ready to do your first cut. Don't worry, we're gonna do it together. The first step is turning the machine on by pressing the power button. Once it comes on, you can touch anywhere on the screen and it will ask you if it's okay. This is gonna happen every time you turn on the machine and it's always okay. Now you have two choices. We're gonna start by cutting one of the built-in patterns. Now you can choose any pattern you want. I'm gonna use something really simple just so that you get used to it. So we're gonna go right here and from the first section here, let's choose this star. This is the size. If you'd like to practice, you can adjust the size. Now I'm using my finger, but of course, you can also use your stylus and you can adjust that size up or down, whatever you would like. So you say, okay, when you're ready. Now you can see you're a little bit confused. What's happening? Why is it giving me this screen? It's just telling you that this cut only has one part. If that's okay, then say, okay. Now you can see here, there's another plus and minus. That means you can adjust how many you're gonna cut. Do you wanna cut one star or do you wanna cut many more? There are a lot of icons here. Don't let yourself get confused by them. I, I have lots of videos that take you through all of these. Let's just focus on getting this first cut done. So we're gonna cut four of them and we're gonna say set. And they appear right here. Now. In order to do my cut, I want to scan in my paper. So let me go ahead and load in my mat. So this is your cutting mat. This is the standard mat. It has a purple strip down at the bottom. It also has a protective sheet on it. Do not put it into the machine with this sheet on it. You wanna take this off and keep it because you'll put it back on. Now this is extremely sticky, extremely sticky. If you put your cardstock onto here right now, the chances are is that it's gonna rip. So you want to lint the mat. And what that means is I basically press it against my body, assuming that it's very linty, okay? And once the mat has been a little bit linted, then your cardstock is not gonna rip when you try to pull it off. The other thing is when I apply the cardstock, and you'll see this, I'm going to try not to like really jam it on here. The, as your mat gets less sticky, then you'll begin to adhere it more and more by pushing harder and harder. You can place the paper anywhere you want. It can be in the center, it can be to the side. It just has to be within this black square in the sticky area. Anywhere that's sticky is fine. Sometimes what I do is I'll place the sticky cover back over this and smooth it with my hands so that I don't get my hands into all that stickiness. Once that's done, I can remove the cover and now it's time to load it into the machine. Open the dust cover on the machine Place two hands at the front to load your mat in and press the load button. Now we're ready to press the scan button and then start. I can see my paper on the screen and I can see that these stars are not going to fit. So I want to rearrange them. And in fact, it looks like I have too many stars or they're too large to fit on this piece of paper. I'm only gonna be able to fit three, I can't fit four. So in order to delete one of them, I'm gonna go ahead into the editing functions and there's a trash can. So I hit the trash can and you can see it disappears. And now that I only have three, I can also resize them by using the resize function here if I wanted to make one of them, let's say, smaller. Now, if you wanna know more about all of these functions, I have a lot of videos about it. Don't stress yourself out about it. Let's just get our very first cut done. So you can arrange these as much as you want. If you had pattern paper and you wanted to fussy cut it, then you could do that. But if you're okay, then you hit the okay button. If you're still okay, well, you're not quite okay. So this was a, this was a trick question. At this point, what we wanna do is add a test cut. A test cut, and I do have a whole video about this, is going to be one of the most important things you do. 
because that is going to be how you test your material, test your settings to see if the settings are correct so you don't waste anything. So I'm dragging my test cut down into the corner. Now we really are okay. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay. And let's look at what our settings are. So there are a couple of things to check out. And by the way, you saw that I just pressed the wrench tool and that brings me here. My cut speed is a one, that's fine. All of the defaults are in black. So if you just um, hooked up your machine, you should see a black three. I like to bring the speed down nice and slow. I find I get better cuts and the cut pressure is at a zero, which is correct for paper. So I'm going to say, okay. The other thing we wanna check is the blade. So right now I have a blade that's been used a lot and it is currently set to a six. How you set the blade is you go all the way past 12 until you can screw it no further, and then you come back to whatever number it is that you want. So the white line here should line up with the number here. If you have a new blade, I would suggest with paper you would start at a four, and then work your way up with the test cuts until you're sure. But I've been using this blade for a while, and it's about a six right now. So I put it in with the Brother logo facing me, click it down and now we're ready to test. I'm going to press cut and then when I press start the machine will automatically stop after the test cut. Without moving anything I'm simply going to see if I can get that test cut out and you can see it came out nice and clean so I know my settings are correct. If it did not come out cleanly, if it was jagged, if you had trouble pulling it out, then you need to adjust your blade and your settings until it's set correctly. It's always better to start lower so you don't cut through the mat. But if it's okay, then you can just press start. <laughs> Hit the unload button, close the dust cover. Now you can remove the excess paper from the mat and congratulations, you have successfully done your very first cut. Now if you had any problems, if it didn't cut all the way through or if it cut too far, that's where the test cut should help you. If you make it through a successful test cut, you should be able to cut your pieces out every single time. Scan and Cut is a wonderful tool for art making and creativity of all kinds. So I encourage you to take it out of the box and use it. It's easier than you think. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at ballsordesigns.typepad.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.